And we'll also give you a quick look at our two starting pitchers as you see their numbers right there. Number 10 steps in now. Second baseman, number 10. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no error. Sean Forbes leads things off now in the top half of the second. Now a slider is hit on the ground towards second. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Sid Doe will stride in. He walked and came around to score his first time. Oh, and it's Taylor made to short. Six, four, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The West prospects are on top here, three to nothing. Jack Robeson will stand in. An RBI double to his credit the first time around. On the ground, softly towards second. On to first as the throw takes care of him, and it's a quick two-up, two-down start to the third. Number 10 will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And this is hit hard on the ground to first. And he's got himself a base hit. And the runner will hold at second, so two on with nobody out. Well, I really like to see this out of a young player like this. Too many times, guys will get a little bit too pole happy. But there, he just sees the ball deep into the zone, and he drives it the opposite way for a nice base hit. And I know a lot of Major League teams love a guy who can use the entire field to his advantage. So they're going to like what they just saw out of him right there. Derek Zahorik is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Now with two on, nobody out, you got to be thinking, strike out, double play out there on the mound. But one or the other is what you really need. Here's a hard hit ball to the left side that'll be taken in out there at short. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Mitchell McLeod will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Runner staying tight to the bag at second. Here's the pitch. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. To two balls and two strikes now. Hey, nice and patient. Get your pitch. Put him away. Give him your best stuff right here. Here we go. And this is going to be a foul ball. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. The second for one, on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the end. Sean Forbes will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. And a jam shot here as this is sent towards second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Jack Robeson. We'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. 
And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no... Number 10 will dig in one for two Number thus far. Number 10. Hey, we got one out here. Hey, put one in the gap right here, huh? Hey, play the Here's the first offering. Runner goes for second. Fouled back. Hey, get your pitch up there. Hey, let her fly. Let her fly right here. You need a base hit here. Hey, double him up right here. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Robeson is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Well, that was a nice stroke right there. Well, he doesn't get the base hit, but I'll bet the scouts will still like the at-bat. You know, sometimes you just get unlucky up there, but when you're hitting the ball on the line with authority, you got nothing to feel bad about. Archie Neal will dig in. He singled his last time around. Big guy, get him stuff right here. Grounded to third. This could be two. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. Jack Robeson will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. All right, come on now. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Sean Alley will step in, a base hit in his last time. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. On to first, and he's breezing through the eighth here with two quick outs. Number 10. We'll stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Swing and he pops him up. Behind the bag at second. Arnaz is there and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. So they go quiet. Danny Curtis will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. Hey, here we go. Come on, fellas, let's go. Slider, and this is hit on the ground out to short. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. Five, six, and seven will lead things. Not a lot of offense to go around in this one, but what offense we did see came from this man's bat. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a couple of hits, but more importantly, that big home run, which really led his guys to this victory. So that's a wrap here this afternoon. For EK, Psycho, and the rest of our crew, I'm...